Hello everyone, I'm D-Mind, the mind of one and all, and welcome back to another episode of The Blind Griffin. So in the last episode, we got Giovanni's good ending. At least I think that was the... I mean, it was a good ending, but was that a better ending? I wouldn't know. I mean, I could look up walkthrough, but I don't want to. So yeah, we got Giovanni's good ending. I think we'll go for each of the guys, the other guys, so Alexia and then Emilio. So yeah, let's go into it. Right, so who do we go for the second one? Emilio or Alexia? Who we want to save for last? Hmm. Maybe I want to save Emilio for last. Alright, we'll go for Alexia. This time? Hmm. Alex, huh? Oh, that's Marie. Alex, huh? Is that a problem? Well, no. Alexia's a hard worker and I'm sure he'll make a great mentor. But he's a little... Strict? Yep. Both of them. I can't do both voices. How strict are we talking about? Um, yeah, I I can pretty much imagine what it's gonna be like. It's gonna be part Shindere-ish. There's gonna be a Shindere moment. I'm calling it. Annoyed voice. I am never any more strict with another person than I am with myself. Yep, that has to be. Alex here. Oh, Alex, I didn't hear you come in. I trust there is a good reason why you are all why you all are sitting around discussing my personality. They might show you need to be her mentor. I see. And why have you chosen me? Hmm, out of the guys here, they are the most teacher like? Is that what is that meant to be a compliment or an insult? <laughs> it's a compliment. Oh yeah, I guess it's neither. Neither. It's just how I feel. Take care of her, will you? I will make sure that she passes her exam. That's not what I said. Well, there is no time like the present, as they say. Shall we head to the library? Wow, immediately. <laughs> Alright. Good luck, sweetheart. It worried me that they were wishing me luck with that. I wonder if Alexei was really all that bad. No, he's, he's a good... I can tell he's a good guy. He means well and everything, but he's just gonna be... Well, kind of Tsundere, but it's not really a Tsundere. I don't know what's the word to describe it. Strict. Yeah, like they would say strict. Incidentally, I did not say so just now, but I'm honored to have been chosen. I will endeavor to not disappoint you. Not like I have anyone to compare you to anyhow. I want to understand what, whether you are a good mentor or not. That's encouraging. Please have a seat. He gestured toward the desk and I sat down while he started rifling through the bookshelves. Um, I hope you're not going to... Books are important for a fundamental overview of magic study. We cannot progress any further before you understand the fundamentals. Ah, uh, But I can't read! <laughs> Just wait there quietly. I sighed. How was I gonna tell him, tell him I, that I couldn't read? A few minutes later, he dropped a pile of heavy looking books in front of me. These books are old, but very good. I do not expect you to memorize them, of course, but... I can't read! <laughs> I finally blurted it out. You... What? I can't read. Forget books. I can't even read street signs or anything. But she said that you... But you said that you followed the glowing smoke signs to get here. I couldn't read them, I just followed the arrows. I... see. Uh-oh. Is he gonna get annoyed with us? He looked like someone just told him his dog died. Oh, wow. <laughs> if you do not mind my asking, why can you not read? Did you not pay attention in school? I didn't get to go to school, I assume as much. My family was poor so I had to work when I was a kid. That's why you could only speak. It's pretty much why... If you never went to school, you're probably gonna read. I picked up some things from when we used to go to church, but that was years and years ago. I just cannot believe that there could be someone who cannot read in this day and age. Yeah, especially in this day and age, not in your day and age. This day and age. Lots of people can't read, yeah. It's quite, it was not uncommon for the poor to not go into school and can't read in that age. Sorry we don't have all the free time to sit around and do magic tricks. Oh, I see. Yeah, he does dress with the coat and everything. He's from a rich family. Right. And that's why you see the shot and his family got killed. In the revolution. Right. 
I bet that's his history and all this. I started thinking that I made a big mistake in picking this guy to be my mentor. Well, it's not, it's just the beginning. It's just like, okay, so you can't read, so you have to do something else. That's it. Just, oh, Charlie can't read and this, and then you're gonna think it's a mistake. Come on. Vivian Marie said, had said that he was strict, but I felt like he was cold. No sympathy. But I could say anything else though. Oh, come on, you're being a bit harsh to him. I'm sorry, I did not mean to blame you. Certainly it's not your fault that you never learn. It is only, it is only that this complicates matters. Do I really have to learn magic by reading books? Hmm. He stared at the ground for a long time. Reading is a necessary skill. As I am your mentor, it falls on me also to teach you to read. Can I assume that you cannot write either? Well, if you can't read, you can't write. I shook my head. Then I shall teach you to read and write. Wouldn't that take a long time? What about magic? For the time being, your magic lessons will have to be more practical and hands-on. Between those, I'll do my best to get you up to a reasonable reading level. Yeah, see? I thought you can't just judge him like that. See, he's working to help us. Sounded like a lot of trouble. My first thought was to just walk on out of there, but... Well, come on, he's helping. He's, it's not like he gave up on you or anything. I suppose it would be useful knowing how to read. Not just so I can learn magic, but for other things, yeah. A whole new world shall open up to you. I promise. He walked back out over to the shelf and picked up a different book. So far he hasn't been that cold or that strict. But I can imagine when we start feeling he's like, Why could you not get this? And be like, a bit annoyed. Shall we start? No, no time like the present. Alexei managed a tiny little smile before sitting the book in front of me. Repeat after me. A-E-I-O-U A-E-I-O-U Alright, so he tried to teach us to read 8 December, wow time Well I guess time flashed by quite fast in this game of course So I started learning magic from Alex here Well, that and reading I picked up reading a lot quicker than I thought I would I suppose it's a little easier when learning when you're older I still don't think reading's really my racket But it's been surprisingly fun it's fun to read. Well, I'm reading a visual novel, so yeah, it is fun to read. <laughs> Alex, but, I'm, but I mean like, just learning to read normal sentences, yeah, I know. Alex is pretty stuffy and all, but he's fair. He, and he owns up to his mistakes. But if we're talking about mistakes, I've made way more. Oh, of course, so regardless of this event, cause yeah, this happens in the before this, and I still can't read Chinese! Ah. Oh well. You probably say oh shit or something. No, I can't. I don't think so. Those characters are quite common. Most of them. The glass explodes, but luckily that doesn't hurt me or Alexei. I believe I told you to be careful when infusing the chemicals with your magic power. I was trying to be careful. Things do not explode when one is being careful. <laughs> He's such a nag. Ah, uh, the first problem I was for sure with this. Let's save. I'll be more careful next time. So you've never made mistakes before? Mm, I don't know. Okay, this is not so obvious. I mean, I guess I'll be more careful seems like the nicer option, like the better option, but this might actually reveal some of his past. I want to see that first. So you've never made a mistake before? If they start arguing, then I know it's the wrong, it's the wrong one. I do my best to minimize them. Wait. I do my best to minimize them. Well, so do I. Accidents happen. They should not in a controlled environment such as this. Hi, Shai. Okay, I guess that was the wrong choice. Let's load. Right, I thought it might reveal some mis some things in part, and then we get some backstory, and then in which case it might be the better option because we want to learn more about. It. That's how visual normal novel normally works. I'll be more careful next time. But I've gotten to know him well enough to know that there's no point in butting heads with him. Besides, he's right. I was getting completely focused. All right, I'm sorry. I'll be more careful next time. That is good to hear, but how exactly do you plan to do that? Huh? Do you even comprehend what exactly you did wrong? I shy. Look, aren't you being ridiculous? I'm new to magic. You will never improve if you do not fully understand your mistakes. That is what I am attempting to impress on you, upon you. Yeah, I mean this is right. You have, what do you went wrong and then you learn not to do it again. But I guess, he could say it a bit nicer. The only thing you are impressing upon me is that you are nag. I'm sorry I made a mess, but you... Alright, alright, I'll st stop. I understand now. 
What? I understand that you have no idea whatsoever what you are doing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. I like it's perhaps the hardest person for me to understand which is the better option to go with. Magic is dangerous and it's clear that you do not truly understand that. I am banning you from practic practicing magic until you've reflected properly. In the meantime, I shall have you practice more reading. It will do you much needed good. Yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna be too happy with that, right? Go. Right. What? You can't ban me. I am your mentor. I will do what I believe is to be best for your growth as a magician. If I don't get all the practice I can now, I might fail my exam. You will only fail if you continue to show a lack of seriousness towards the magic craft. I'm not safe here. Will the argument still go the same? Like, will he still ban me? I wanna see that. Shall I look? Alright, sure it's the same. Yeah, I guess the... Then that is the better option. Not to argue with him a bit more. You only feel if you can... Yeah. You only feel if you continue to show a lack of seriousness towards the magic graph. Look, the only reason I'm even having trouble focusing is because you give me so much reading and writing to do. You pill? Oh, come on, start insulting him. You fangled slang insults do not affect me. And you are only making excuses for yourself. Are you satisfied with mediocrity? I don't even know what mediocrity means. <laughs> it's mediocrity. Exactly. Come now, let's clean up and leave the lab behind. That is final. As we clean up the mess, I try over and over to get him to change his mind, but he won't budge. How am I going gonna get better at magic if I can't practice? 11th of December. It's been a few days and today, everyone's sitting around the speakeasy in the afternoon. True to his word, Alexi piled more reading and writing practice on me. It's annoying work. Made more annoying by the fact that I'm being forced to do it. Still, I can't deny that my handwriting's gotten better since then. But I won't tell him that. He would just gloat. Dima has completely taken my place as the bartender. You're doing great, doll. Oh, hey, Giovanni. You know, in an alternate universe, we kind of banged. Thanks. And we travel to you around Europe. Yeah. But business is still too slow. Oh, this is the discussion about the business thing. I wonder if it would be different. Or yeah, it should be different. As I said before, it was naive to think that things would instantly improve upon hiring a new bartender. We have got to advertise. Reach out to new customers. Our moonshine is the best around. If only more people would come, that win them over. Yep. How you know booth the best? Same dialogue. What other joys got magicians working on the booth? Alex here does great work. You won't win any flavors, flatter favors flattering me, you know. Oh, don't give me the icy mitt like that. I noticed these two don't always get along, I wonder why. Seems like Giovanni likes Alex here enough. It's a swell idea, no? Wanting to advertise, but how? And we are and why are we why are we advertising? Hmm, a lot of restaurants are having booze nowadays. Maybe we should start selling food? We don't have the manpower or budget for that. Everyone says. This is the catch about this job I was worried about. Well, aside from the whole, if I don't pass this exam, I'll lose my memory a bit. I learned a decent paying job, alright? But it turns out the place might go out of business if we don't do something quick. Figures. When I look around at everyone, though, I got an idea. How about we play up the music stuff? Oh, it's the same thing. Hmm, what do you mean? The way I see it, Giovanni and Viva are pretty nifty musicians, right? So why if you focus on that, draw in the crowd and we got real hopping music. That may work, the only thing people in this country like better than alcohol is jazz. Same thing, copacetic. We could spread new rumors that the blind griffin's jazz is the cat's meow. And once they are here, the booth you can have them hooked. Now you're talking. Everyone gets excited about their plans. If we spread rumors around town, you should help gather more attention. Perhaps we should make flies to pass out. I'll help. No, no, d mind you stay here. Alright, this is where the dialogue starts to change. He suddenly drops a pile of books in front of me. Oh wow. Where did you... Does he have magic pockets or something? An invisible book bag? The best thing you can do right now is to study more. I've been doing nothing but studying for days. It is for you. Just do what Alexia is back at. You picked him as your mentor, so you've got to listen. 
But a, found, a strong foundation is the key to becoming skilled at magic. Big words coming from someone who won't let me do anything hands on. Why am I supposed to build my foundation on? Research and theory are important parts of magic as well. All of us magicians here have to do research and study theory. I never see Giovanni or Marie doing any research. Uh, silence. Maybe I stumped him there. Doll. You should not compare yourself to them. Not everyone is fortunate enough to be born with genius. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah, in the previous story, uh, we figured out that Alexei was chasing after Giovanni. Maybe Alexei had trouble learning magic when he was young. And that's why he had to put in extra effort reading and whatnot. While well, they had it easy. And how do you know that I'm not a genius too? I do not know. However, even geniuses can benefit from learning more about theory. Please, just trust me on this and do as I say. Is it just me or is his voice shaking? He doesn't sound angry or anything. If anything, he sounds... Are you listening to me, d mine? Huh? Oh, yeah. Yes. A lot of big shy. Chin up, doll. Alex means well. He really knows his stuff. You can't go wrong doing what he says. Alright. We all split up and I take the pile of books back to the research room. Maybe I can shut him up if I learn all this by heart. Yeah. Trying my best to stay optimistic, I hit the books again. And it's been four days since then. <laughs> it's a quiet day in the research room. I'm getting sick of looking at books, but at least Alex says not around to tell me what's Wait, to tell me what to do right now. I don't know where, where the older trio went off to, but Vivian and Milio are on here. Is this the same conversation about our age? I mean, which sounds better, this? She sings a few bars of music. Yep, same thing. If I have, if I'm correct, I can skip and then it will stop. Yep, it will stop when I haven't. Yeah, that's an, an interesting feature. Not interesting, a uh, convenient feature that most visual novels should have. Especially when you get to replay. You skip the lines you already, the text you already been through. So this is where we haven't seen. Whoa, that sounds so heavy. That's what she, wait. Eh, yeah. Guess I can't blame him for being a little cold. If he came spit side at the age of 19, and he's been here 5 years, he's got at least, got to at least be in his mid-twenties. Was he already here when you got here? Nah, I was here first. Been here since... Been here 8 whole years, I started learning magic from Gio when I was 11. Why are you working in a speed easy when you were 11? So 19 and 20 eh? No wonder you two get along, being so close in age. Hmm, how old are you d -Mine? We never asked. There's no way you're a day over 16. You could say you're 40 then I believe you. I can't help frowning. Do I really look that much like a kid? I turned 22 a couple months ago. See, just like I thought. Wait, what? You're really 22? Tell it to Sweeney! I don't know who Sweeney is, but we're scared. Cause we've seen that. Let's see. Two days, okay. Two days later, Alexei still hasn't lifted the ban on me practicing. But he at least lets me sit in the lab and observe. While I work on another reading assignment, that is. From time to time, I look up to see what he and Giovanni are doing, but their stuff is kind of beyond me. When I'm reading, the sound of breaking glass grabs my attention. Stop fooling around. Whoa. I think back to over a week ago when I made the glass jar explode. Alexei hadn't yelled at me then. I don't think he was even angry, just exasperated. But whenever Giovanni's involved, he gets so fast, so fast. I think, why do I need angry upset? You can be sure about being sure. Yeah, I guess. Where? Kick right clicking. Right clicking should exit me out of that, but oh well. Yeah, I think it's a bit envious of Giovanni and everyone else because they're better at magic. Looks like Giovanni just dropped the beaker. Is that really something to yell about? Ah, uh, ah, uh, sorry Alex, I slipped. You slipped? It was an honest mistake. I'll pay for another beaker. Money is not the issue here. With your skill level, you should be innovating. You should be making a real difference in the world of magic. But instead, you spend most of your time playing the saxophone and making a racket. When you are in the lab, you aren't focused. Giovanni just shrugs. Some things are more important than magic, Alex. 
Look, I didn't ask to be born a magician. Why should it be my responsibility to innovate or whatnot? You... Oh no, LHA looks really angry. Let's save. Wait. Um... Huh? Hold on, let's save here. Of course, I don't know why. But... What is the save I put? <laughs> huh. Oh yeah, I saved here because I wanted to look back. Right, I was like, why is there a safe there? Alright, cool. Cool, cool beans, yo. Alright. You can save over that one. Okay, so you look angry. Let's just watch from a distance or stop them. We have to stop them. I get up from my seat and rush over, putting myself between them. Alright, that's enough. I look like he when he sees me. When the anger drains from his face. I am sure it's difficult for you to focus when I'm rampaging here, isn't it? It's not that, but you're getting too worked up. Enough of this, I need some air. Wait. Both El Before Alexei can say another word, though, Giovanni walks out of the lab. Alex is stunned for a few seconds, but then he takes a deep breath. I apologize for the commotion. It's alright. I suppose this is a good time for me to take a break. How far along are you coming in your assignment? Have a look. He comes over to look at my book and the notes I've been taking. I usually write down a lot of words that I don't recognize when I'm reading. It takes a long time for me to look them up in the dictionary, true. Still, doing that helps me remember. I know I complain a lot, but I've gotten a lot better at reading and writing in the last 10 days, so thanks, it was worth it. I expected him to say, I told you so. But he unexpectedly smiles instead. I expect him to do both, but oh well. That is good to hear. Hard work will always be rewarded. I see. He looks over my notes for a while. It seems you have improved tremendously. Perhaps you truly are a genius. Hearing that gives me some mixed feelings, but not anyway. Well, it looks like it is time, about time that I lift the ban. You mean? Yes, you may practice magic again. Yes! I can't help jumping up and down a little. I'm just so excited to get back to actually using magic. And he's just at the dots. What is it? He's not going to scold me for getting excited, is he? You know, I've noticed this for some time, but when you are particularly emotional, the air around you seems to shift around. What do you mean? Well, it is as if light gathers around you. Ah! He probably gets out and picks your book. Off, off the shelf. He flicks through it for a little while before coming back to me. I knew I heard of this before. You are bending the light around you. I'm what? Okay, so either way, we are gifted in light magic. You are not aware of it. I don't even understand what you're talking about. But wait, but didn't you say that one time you were able to stop the rain and a bully tried to touch you and then he felt his hand burning? That's not light magic. Oh well. Light is one of the elements of magic. Well, I guess you could use all elements, but then there'll be one you're particularly gifted in, maybe. Kinda like in an octave fire. Right, I learned that already. You are unconsciously manipulating the light around you. This seems to suggest that it is your specialty. You have a natural ability for it. Aw, light magic's my specialty? I was hoping it'd be fire or something. Oh, come on, I would say light is really good. Like, Okay, fire, you get to shoot fire cool beans, but light! I mean, you can take the light out of people's eyes. You can blind them, you can create illusion. I would imagine light magic can create illusions. That's really... That's pretty cool. No doubt you only think of light as something is weak and useless, but it is quite a rare and useful element to specialize in. Fair? Yes, I have not encountered another light magic user in some time. If I recall correctly. He flips through the book's pages again and until landing on a page with some diagrams. Here, can you read this? I lean over and squint down at the open pages. I think so. The pictures help. This is some detailed explanation on light magic. It will be good for you to try this out and educate yourself on light magic. Alright, but I can really practice magic now, right? Yes, read well and practice until you master it. Wow, I've never been so excited about reading a book. I sit down and get to work while Alexei supervises. Yeah, everything is going well so far. And time passes. Oh yeah, now it's... 
Christmas Eve. It's the same inst- incident gonna happen again. Since Galaxy put me on the right track, I feel taken to light, to light magic. It's a lot more useful than I first thought, and light can be powerful if it's concentrated. Yeah, it's, I I would assume that light was the best out of the all the other elements of light. Come on, it's light magic, illusions. But even besides that, I figure out how to do a lot of really interesting, pretty things with the light. It's sad not having a specialty that's more common, because there's not a lot of books about it. But it's fine figuring stuff out on your on my own. Wait, did I just lament a lack of books? Sheesh! Alexis trained me well. <laughs> wow. Is everyone ready for tonight? I think so. The blind griffin's expecting a big crowd for Christmas Eve. A lot of people are supposed to be coming tonight. It would seem that our methods for attracting new customers have worked. Can we skip this? We can. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, skip all the text that we've already seen. Ah, oh, same incident. But now is Alexei, our mentor, who stops us. Of course. Of course. Alexei gets up from the piano and walks over to me. Dima, you need to come down and fix this. What do you mean, fix this? This is your doing, so you must reverse it. I don't. You have taken the lights out of all the non magician's eyes. You must restore it, or else they will be. They'll stay blinded. Perhaps permanently. Permanently. Huh? That's why they're all going on. Wait, that's why they're all going on about not being able to see? Focus, d You are more than capable of reversing this mistake. I nod and try to imagine the light is going back to normal. No more glowing or sparkling. Okay, now open your eyes, everyone. Sighs of release I've heard all around. There now, you did just fine. He's gonna be mad after same with Giovanni, right? Alexia and Marie go help take care of the customers. The night goes on without a hitch after that. I can't help but feeling disappointed in myself for screwing up that up. After helping close up the bar, I'm sitting in my room. I can't believe I blinded everyone tonight. That could have ended terribly. And don't even want to think about how angry Alex is going to be. Just then I heard hear a knock at the door. Maybe he's not gonna be angry. D mine, are you still awake? Speak of the devil and he will appear. Yeah, I'm still awake. Come on in. Are you reflecting on what happened? I'm mortified. I didn't mean for what that to happen. I know that you did not. However, next time you should tell me if you are planning on using magic on that scale, I could have helped you. Really? I am your mentor. It's my job to support you. Yeah, I have a feeling he's gonna unsurprisingly be like not not why, why does he unsurprisingly surprisingly be like not that harsh about it. Maybe because when he was young, he used to be uh he used to mess up a lot too, which is why he had to put in a lot more effort to become a magician. It's a lot calmer than I expected, but that just makes me feel worse somehow. Really, it makes you feel worse. I guess you better take this scolding than just them forgiving you and you're like, uh, alright. <laughs> I just wanted to help. I know. I tried too hard to use- oh wait, that's him. That's me. I tried too hard to use magic I wasn't familiar with. I should have practiced more first. It is perfectly alright to make mistakes, you know? That is a part of learning. That's completely different from what you said before when you banned me from using magic a few weeks ago. Yeah, kind of. I was only irritated then because you were not reflecting on your actions. You were being careless and had no idea why you had messed up. No, worse than that, you did not wish to know. Yeah, that's your show. I was like, he was kind of right. He's like, why is the mistake? Or not, you're just gonna make the same mistake and then you're gonna explode again. I never thought of it that way before, but I suppose he has a point. I was being pretty stubborn. Yeah, you were. However, it's clear to me right now that you are reflecting seriously. You understand what you did wrong and will try not to make the same mistake again. Or am I wrong? No, I'm reflecting, really. Still, is there ever a point when you become a master and just perfectly control your magic? Do you still make mistakes? I do. Everyone does. It seems unlike you to make mistakes. On the contrary, I do not have the genius or raw talent that people such as Giovanni possess, so I have to rely on practice. I have to rely on the experience that comes from making 1000 mistakes. Haha, <laughs> you're being downright poetic. Am I? Yep, but thanks, I feel better after talking to you about it. 
Hmm. But I think this is a good place to end it. Yeah, so leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at DMindGaming if you have enjoyed. And I hope to see you again in the next episode.